Hey, okay, you guys, so we are live, and I'm going to share with you my notebook system. So I cannot take credit for this. This is Leah Cardo's baby, um, but it is something that I have planned um, in my business as a sales director since she taught it to me. And I went through, I have a cabinet of all my notebooks um, of a sales as a sales director and and found a couple that I wanted to share with you guys. And I'll share with you also that sometimes I was really good at creating my notebook and actually following through every single month and there were months where I wasn't the best at it. Um, but what I want you to know is that tracking is huge. Tracking is what will get you where you want to be. And what I love about the notebook system is it allows you to predict how your month is going to be, but it also allows you to be injected in your month so that you can actually control the outcome. I remember as a sales director saying, oh my gosh, I want to do 20,000 in all reality. Um, unless you are tracking where that activity is going to come from, you're kind of just throwing a goal out there and hoping it sticks, right? Well, we have done that before maybe and realized that that doesn't really work. So I'm going to share with you guys um, how I like to do the notebook system and everyone is a little bit different, but I did one, um, a brand new one for this month too as a national, but really not really much as a national, but if I were a sales director, how I would put my notebook together, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys um, an old notebook, and I will tell you this, it really is just an old-fashioned spiral-bound notebook. Um, I like to be able to put things in here. I like to be able to go back and reference them so I can see how we finished out our month, what different promotions I did, you know, February two years ago and how that played out, um, who my key players were, just kind of see, because sometimes you're like, gosh, I was doing so great in 2013, what was I doing? And so I love to be able to go back, pull out my notebook, see what I was doing, see where my numbers were, what my activity level looked like for myself, for my unit, um, for my area, you know, and so I can see um, exactly what we were doing. So this is my old notebook. I'm gonna show you guys, this was for February of 2014, and um, my very first page is always a projection of where we're going to have as far as new team members in production. So um, at the top, you'll see I put down 40,000 wholesale was what I wanted you guys. This is nothing fancy. It's nothing crazy, exciting. Um, but I listed where that production was going to come from. So base, I planned on my base doing 8,000. So at that time in my business, my base was doing about 8,000. Then I was committed to 2,500 wholesale personal. I was always a key active player in my unit. I was always ordering the most product. I was always recruiting the most people. So that was normal for me to order 2,500 wholesale. And then my new, I projected my new was gonna bring in 22,000. And so that was actually, let's see, do the math, break that down. That was shy. Well, I guess that's actually less than 40,000. So see, you don't have to be a genius to put this together. So um, so that was how I broke that down with the production. So obviously I was missing some wholesale. So that was probably gonna come from new as well. Okay, so, um, and then I projected how many new we were going to have. So 40 new consultants. And I put down my key players and how I was going to, um, what number next to them. So I knew who was working their business, who was committed. This is actually a month I think we did pay setters. And so these were probably my girls who were registered for pay setters and who I knew was committed to working their business that month and who I was committed to working with. So I had myself down as adding 10. Why? Because I was always a key player in my business. So me, 10. And then I went through, and so I had 40 new, and so I literally listed the names of the women who were working their business, and I put a number next to them that I felt they were capable of doing, whether it was maybe a little bit of a stretch or something they normally randomly did, um, and it equaled 40, okay? So that's how I did that. And that way, you guys, you know, we weren't adding 40 every single month, and actually, you guys, I think this was the month that we had the massive explosive growth. Um, no, no, it wasn't. It was the year before. Um, but anyway, so 40 new was our goal, um, but I could wrap my brain around where those 40 were going to come from when I had a name next to them as to who was going to be bringing in those women besides me. Because if we are a leader working by ourselves, it's really hard to predict where those 40 new agreements are going to come from. And let's be real. Yes. Can you personally recruit 40? Absolutely. Is that a stretch? Absolutely. Is it fun steering a ship alone? No. And so that's where you want to enlist your people in a number. Have a conversation with them. Hey girl, so what's your goal this month? What are you committed to? I know you're registered for pay setters. I know you're excited about your February. Historically in Mary Kay, February is always an amazing month. 
So what number are you excited about to build this month in your business? What number excites you? Maybe wants you to throw, makes you want to throw up a little bit, maybe even makes you queasy, but you're committed to doing your absolute all to make that happen and put that number next down, down next to her name because you had a conversation with her. And that way you're also not expecting her to do this, um, and then she doesn't, and then you're wondering why your month didn't come together. Well, you have to be productive with your desired production, okay? So you have to really just go in and have those conversations so that you're not just throwing it out to the universe, but you're on the same page with, hey, this is what I believe you're capable of doing, and hey, what do you think about this? And you're excited, you're committed, you're both committed, and so you're not just throwing a number out there hoping they stick to it. Hey girl, I see you recruiting five people this month, who's it gonna be? That's probably not gonna work. You need to have dialogue and conversation with her so she knows what you what, what you're believe in her, but also so you're not throwing a goal out there for her and she's gonna be in Mexico the whole month, so that might not work, you know? So you want your month to come together and you want to be really, really on purpose about where your month is gonna come from, you need to have dialogue with your people. Okay, so as you can see, I think this month I recruited, I recruited nine people that month, and so I put all their names and their numbers. Um, I did not finish whether they were qualified or not. Um, and then I also have a bar, um, a bar graph here, which I clearly didn't fill out in its entirety, of where our production was gonna come from, okay? So as we, well not where it was gonna come from, but kind of like tracking as it grows, as it increases. And that excites me, you guys. Feeling, filling stuff in excites me. Um, and so again, and I'm gonna show you my new one. Woo, I'm gonna show you my new one too, in a second. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you my new one just because, to cut down on time, but also because it's prettier. Okay, so fabulous February 2017. Gotta put that on there, 2017. That is important. Why? Because when I go back and see what was I doing, how did I have a really great awesome month, I can go back and I can look and see what year this was, what month it was, da 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 da. Oh wait, so we are committed to 20 new in the month of February, my personal unit. We are doing 20 new. Okay, so I have me committed to three. I have one of my rock stars who's submitting DIQ committed to five. Courtney, three, Michelle, one, Rachel, five. I have two girls committed to DIQ March 1st. So they are pretty bringing in majority of the new agreements besides myself. And then I also have new five because we did have an influx of new consultants last month. And so they're gonna be doing their pearls and they're gonna be team building. So I go ahead and I put five new for the for the new girls that we that we added. Our goal is 25,000 wholesale. Now my unit does 10 to 15 base, and so 25 wholesale. I have my base, I just did kind of conservative and I did 10,000 base. I did new 14,000 and me 1,000 because I'm doing parties and I'm booking and I'm seeing faces so I'm gonna order 1,000 wholesale this month. So I'm breaking down where my production is going to come from. As my wholesale increases, I can fill it out in the bar graph, okay? Okay, so, and fill this out as you go. So I've also put stars next to the first three because that's where I'm committed to team building and putting women, um, adding new women to our team. Okay, so next page, I have my two new DIQs. I'm committed to having two new DIQs, March 1st. Morgan, I've listed her first. She already has six team members, so we're committed to adding at least three to four. She has additional ones, but they're not really doing a whole lot, so we're not gonna put them down. Um, but three to four new women on her team. And so once they go active, I add a little star, and I, I didn't fill that out because they are active, but I'll put a little star next to them so we know to count them as being active. Next, I have Rachel. She also has five team members. I just did not fill it out in its entirety so I could hurry up and make this video for you guys. But we'll put down her five that she's already got and then her new five that she's gonna add as well. So she's working on adding at least a gold medal this month, so she's committed to that. Okay. Then I have three new red jackets that I'm committing to have. Well, I have Taylor, who's already a senior, and she's got her books full this month, so I know she's gonna be a new red jacket this month. So I went ahead and put her down. These next two, I'm not 100% certain who those people will be. And so as my consultants are reaching out to me with their goals for during pay setters, I can have conversation and dialogue with them to figure out who my new two new red jackets will be in the month of February, okay? So that's how I have that structured. And then I'll put one, two, three, one, two, three. I already have a couple girls who have one or two, but I wanna know who's excited about Red Jacket. I'm not projecting my goals on them. I wanna know what's your goal. So as they reach out to me and tell me, or I say, hey girl, what's your goals this month? I'm excited to work with you. Um, you know, we can have dialogue and then I can decide who those two new Red Jackets are gonna be, okay? Okay, 
Next page, tracking my personal faces. This is something I've always done. And the reason behind that is if I feel like I saw a lot of faces and I didn't necessarily have great results, I need to go back and track that. See what I was doing. See where I was working. Was it a geography thing? Was it my just really low quality leads, you know, whatever. But I track my personal faces. So I have 30 faces listed down and I will put their name and I will put the amount that they purchased so that I can go in and see and track my averages because there's nothing more frustrating than just being frustrated wondering like, I saw so many faces, why am I not getting the numbers and the results? I can go back and I can track and see what I was doing, okay? Okay, next. Tracking our unit shares. Now that is something I did a Voxer on a couple last week, I think it was, the week before, I don't remember, um, on tracking my unit shares. The reason I am obsessed with tracking unit shares is because if we're not growing, I can go back and look and see like, why are we not growing? Oh, we did two shares, that's why we're not growing. Okay, so, and guess what? I am also someone that does not like a blank page. So if I have a blank page here of unit shares that I'm tracking and there's nothing written down, I'm going to reach out to my consultants and say, hey girl, who can we get on the phone with? Who have we not done shares with? Hey girl, you're brand new, you still haven't done your pearls. We gotta get those going. Normally in our unit and in our area, it is very normal to become a red jacket your first month in business. So who can we get on the phone with? Have those intentional conversations so I can fill this bad boy up with our unit shares. And I put the name of the guest, the consultants, and then when to follow up with them. And I will put the date of when the share was held because I wanna be able to go back and track because I'm not the best at follow up. And so when I have a notebook and I have a system in place and it's March or April, I go back to February's notebook and I see who we did shares with, whether they signed, when to follow up with them and, and I don't drop the ball on follow up. And I think that's so imperative because I know there's so many of us that are sharing the opportunity and not following up and how many people are we losing, right? Probably a lot of people through the cracks. So tracking unit shares is big. Okay, I also then take, um, I will print my promotion, my flyer, or just write it in here, but I will write down the promotion that I did for February 2017 because I wanna know when I go back next year and I say, gosh, I don't really know what to do for February, I will be like, oh, we had an amazing February in 2017. I'm just gonna do that again. And I don't have to reinvent the wheel or stress myself out because I have my resources for my last seven years of being a sales director, six years of being a sales director, right in front of me. So I can go back and see and be like, oh yeah, I'll just do that again, right? Like it's awesome and I love it. Oh wait, another thing that I really, really love to do is track my weekly meeting topics. So week one, week two, week three, week four. And that is because sometimes our brains are fried. Let's be real, sometimes I am like all over the place. This pace setters has got my brain so crazy right now. And so with that being said, it's so great to be able to go back and say, you know what, I think I'm gonna train on DISC. And then I'm like, wait, I should probably go back and see when I trained on that last. And so we can pull out my notebooks and be like, gosh, it's been six months, yep, let's do it. Or, whoa, I just did that six weeks ago. No, I can't train on that. And so I love having my topics. I also love to give, feedback for myself like okay we trained on DISC how did your people like and I'll write myself the girls loved it it was hilarious you know or whatever um or you know I trained on taxes and then I'm like it was crickets change your material you know I can write myself notes so that I can say oh I gotta get better at that or oh that was really great or I need to sharpen my skills because I am always 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 trying to make sure that I am bettering myself as a leader and my people are absorbing the material and taking it in and we're getting some like aha moments here, okay? Okay, so that is really, you guys, all that I do for my notebook. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I would incorporate. And so I don't necessarily, um, I do. I do get a different notebook for every single month because I just, I wanna have it organized. I like to keep it organized. I am very little C, so this is, this is about the extent of the C in me. Um, but what I also like to do is I will do my welcome appointments in the same notebook. And so I'll put the consultant's name, I'll ask her all the questions Sean Key asks, how much money she wants to make in a month, um, you know, three words that best describe her, what brings her joy, what makes her happy, um, a year from now, you know, time and money were not an issue, what dreams would you love to see come true, ask her about her family, I ask her about her extracurricular activities, and then I have this notebook that I can go back and see, oh, I recruited Emily in January, I'm gonna go back and find that notebook so I can get back to what her why was. 
Why was she excited again? Because right now she's in a rut. And so I got to bring her back to her why. And I just pull out my February notebook because she recruited in February. And I have it right here in front of me. So I do all my welcomes and I track them all in my notebook for the month. And um, my shares as well, I'll write myself notes in my shares. Um, any meetings I go to that month, I'll take my notebook and track my notes in that notebook. Why? Because I always have those as a resource to go back and listen, or not listen, but watch, not watch, but read. Wow. Um, but read, look at, investigate. Um, and I have it right there in front. So I love the notebook. It is truly a life changer, a business changer. Again, I can't take credit for it. That is Leah's baby. Um, but what I can say is that some things that I've added is the welcome appointments, the tracking of my shares. I have added um, my promotion. I really like to add that in there. Um, and really just having any training, anything that I did um, in the month is in my notebook. And then I'll even take um, pictures of my consultants, my key players, and I'll actually tape them to the front of my notebook. And I take it to me with all my appointments because guess what, you guys, they want to see their picture on your notebook. They really do want to see your picture, their picture on your notebook. So I'll make a cute pic collage, I'll print it, stick it, um, maybe laminate it or maybe just stick it in a plastic sheet and, I'll, and I will tape it to the, the front of my notebook. And maybe not, maybe not laminated or plastic, but typically stuff gets ruined in my bag. So try to keep it nice and organized. So and that way, too, I can go back and see who I was working with that time, you know? So anyway, so that is my notebook. That's how I choose to use it. I hope this, I hope this helps you guys. I hope um, you can go back, rewind, pause, whatever you need to do to look at the pages. But I love the notebook. It is amazing. And truly, it allows you to set a huge, audacious goal, but be engaged, be involved, and really um, dissect where those numbers are going to come from, opposed to just throwing it out at the wall, hoping it sticks, you know? So anyways, I hope this helps you guys. Love you lots. I'm excited for pace setters. Loving your feedback already. And I cannot wait for Wednesday. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.